When my brothers and I were growing up and mum was at work, dad would sometimes cook dinner. He'd have a few exceptional dishes he would do and this one was one of his favourites and it's now become one of mine. This is my dad's midweek chicken casserole. It's so delicious and on top of it, it's budget friendly. So to start with, the chicken we're using today, I've got some beautiful free range chicken here. And ideally, you'd like to use chicken on the bone. So I've got chicken drumsticks here and chicken thighs. And I love these two types of chicken to use in this dish because they've got so much flavour. And keeping on the bone, it's going to keep it really, really moist throughout the cooking process. So I have 500 grams each of the drumsticks and the chicken thighs. And to start with, we just want to flour a plate like this and we're going to dip our chicken in and just lightly coat it. And what that's going to do, not only give it a great colour, but it's also going to help thicken our sauce. I've got a chef's pan here. I'm just going to put it on a medium heat and add a little bit of olive oil to it. And look, I think this is probably one of the most versatile pans to have in the kitchen. It's like an all-in-one. It's not only a skillet, it's a sauté pan and it's a pot. So it's got those big, deep sides to it. And by having that, it means we can make lots of sauce. And that's exactly what we need for our chicken. So you don't want to overfill the pan when you're doing this. If you overfill it, it's going to stew. So we're not going to get that colour. The stewing comes later. So, you know, a few pieces at a time is perfect for this. And it's not the cooking stage, it's just the colouring stage. So wait for a good sizzle. Perfect. And in they go. This last batch of chicken is looking good, so we're just going to remove it with the chicken legs here. And getting this colour on the chicken at this stage is really crucial. This is going to make our sauce so much better. So get that good colour on it, be patient also. So you can see there's just a little bit of that chicken fat down there and that oil. We want to keep it there. I'm going to add one onion to this now and I just want to slice this. Um, not too thin, I want some texture to it because it's going to be cooking for around 45 minutes. I don't want all those onions to vanish. I want to see them in this stew. So one large onion and I've also got three cloves of garlic and I'm not even going to peel them, I'm going to leave them whole and pop them straight in. Alright, in they go. Hot pan still, good sizzle and our garlic. So three cloves, you'll want to taste it, okay? So just give that a good stir, toss that in the pan. So it's time to put all that chicken back into our chef's pan here. And we also want to season this really well with a good pinch of salt and some pepper. So now we need to deglaze this pan. We need to get some moisture in here. So I've got 500 millilitres of white wine. Good sizzle. All right. Now it seems like a lot of liquid, but that's going to reduce significantly throughout the cooking process. And while we're reducing it at this stage, before we start adding the other ingredients, we're cooking off all that alcohol. So it's just gonna leave this chicken with a real sweet flavor. It's just seriously really good. So that's reduced by two thirds now. And I'll add a bouquet garni now. A bouquet garni is bay leaf, thyme and parsley and I've just tied that up so that makes it so much easier once it's cooked just to get that out. That's just going to give it a really nice flavour. So in that goes along with one can of crushed tomatoes and the beautiful thing about this is you can change it up. If you've got too many fresh tomatoes add them to this. If you've got some canned cherry tomatoes or whole tomatoes just pop them in. Again you don't want too much in that you just want one can just so we get that beautiful rich red sauce that we're looking for. So, my dad's little trick was adding a few drops of Tabasco. Just a few. It was his way, I guess, of introducing us to heat, to chilli. So, one, two, three, four. The kiddies, they'll never know. OK, I'm only joking. If your kids don't like chilli, by all means, don't put this in because it will be too spicy. But four drops, I promise you, it's just, just gives it a little bit of something special. All right, that's perfect. Lid on and we'll wait for 45 minutes for that to cook or until that meat falls off the bone, you'll know it's ready. And I'm going to serve this with some beautiful steamed rice. So 
45 minutes. I did turn the heat down just so it just gently simmers there. And it smells so good. You can smell the tomatoes, the white wine, a little bit of that Tabasco. And look, just to serve this, I'm just gonna bring this over here. A little bit of rice. Of course, you could serve this with some pasta or some potatoes if you like. And then we'll get my favorite parts, which are, well, both of them, the chicken drumsticks and the thighs. There's one right here, just on top. And all those onions that have made up this sauce, I'm just gonna pop that on top. Look at that. Every time I smell this, it reminds me of my place, and in particular, my dad. And in the words of Colin, this is what he would say, people would pay good money for that in a restaurant. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you what, this is a seriously good midweek dinner.